In this video, we're looking at the HP Omen Transcend 14 versus the 16 inch model. When I first got into the market to purchase my first Windows laptop, I was thoroughly confused. I had been a Mac user for a long time and my younger years. And as I became more of a creative professional, got into video editing, I realized I needed more GPU performance. So I dove into Windows, but the configurations were so confusing. All of the nines and sevens and screens and GPUs and configurations were, were, were enormous comparatively. So even if this video helps one person, I am happy because there's some big differences between the 14 and the 16, and I want to help you buy the right one. Let's go ahead and dive into the build quality and the usability, the upgrade path, and some of the features, and then we'll check out the performance and holistically we will help you make the right purchasing decision. So obviously the biggest difference is going to be the size of the display as well as the chassis. As you can look from the top camera, you can see we have a substantially larger laptop with the 16 inch model. So if you're looking for something more on the go friendly, you're definitely going to want to consider the 14 inch model. Now, as we go ahead and pick the laptops up, you can see that it is also thinner, but honestly not by a ton, but it's definitely a lighter laptop the 14 inch model. So if you're looking for something thinner and lighter, it's gonna be this, but from a thin standpoint, it's only a little bit thinner, which is really cool because over the past couple of years, the HP Omen has gotten substantially thinner. They've gone more low profile with the design. Now you can see they both have this small ledge, but what you can see here is the rounded edges are a little smoother. They're not as aggressive. And I just like the design. It just has more of an angular feel to it. It's very comfortable in my hand. I like it a lot. Now let's go ahead and flip the laptops over and let's talk about the upgrade path. Both of these laptops, you have the opportunity to upgrade the SSD. They both have one M.2 slot available. Pretty surprising to me though that the HP Omen Transcend 16 only has one M.2 slot because most laptops of this size and form factor offer you two M.2 slots. So you don't have to swap out your main boot drive, you would just add an additional drive. That is not the case here. You just have one M.2 slot available in both of these laptops. Now where the 16 inch model really takes advantage is you do have upgradable RAM. So if you purchase this laptop with 16 gigs of RAM, you can pull off the bottom cover and upgrade to 32 or 64. With the HP Omen Transcend 14, Whatever you purchase the laptop with is what it's going to stay with. It's soldered to the motherboard. So if you get the Intel Core Ultra 7 version, you're gonna have 16 gigs of RAM. If you get the Intel Core Ultra 9 version, you're gonna have 32 gigs of RAM. So just keep that in mind. We'll walk through the buyer's guide and the pricing here in just a few minutes. Now, the next thing I wanna look at, of course, is the ports. So you can see on the back panel, we have HDMI, and we have USB type A for the 16 inch model as well as your network port and power adapter. Whereas for the HP Omen 14, we just have the HDMI and the USB type C. Now flip them on to their side. We have two USB type C's and a headphone jack where we have one USB C and a headphone jack on the 14. And then flip over for the 16 inch model, we have one USB type A and two USB type A's for the 14. So when you look at these two laptops, you have similar port connectivity, except we're gonna have a network port on the 16 and an additional USB type C port on the 14. So it depends on what you're looking for between these two laptops. All right, let's go ahead and open and close the lids with one hand. See which one opens and closes smoothly. See if they both do. Both open and close smoothly with one hand. And let's go ahead and check out the screen bounce. Whoop, I already got some bounce going on there for the, for the 16. So the 16 is, let's try this, here we go. One, two, three. They're both pretty bouncy. Um, I would say the 14 is ever so slightly less bouncy. I would honestly expect it to have almost no bounce because of the size and like more the stiffness of the hinge. It feels a little stiffer, but they both bounce quite a bit. So if you're somebody who finds yourself working on the train, perhaps you travel a lot, so you're working on airplanes or you're working you know, in an Uber or you're even on a boat, People travel by ferry. It happens, okay? Um, so I would say that these are not the best laptops to do so because if you do have a lot of motion on wherever you're traveling, it'll be a bouncy experience, which I personally don't love. All right, now as we go ahead and open the screens, you can see that the HP Omen 16 opens flat where the 14 will not open all the way flat. It's more like a 45 degree angle. Now they both have these glossy OLED displays. Now, if you're looking for a matte display, you can actually go ahead and get the 2023 model. Um, if you're somebody who does not like a glossy display, you can see here that it really diffuses the light above, where here you can see it's very, you can see that my light fixture above for the top hair lighting. Um, so the 2023 model would offer you a matte display. So just keep that in mind if you don't want 
the glossy display. One thing that stands out to me though, between the 23 and the 24, sorry to bring this back up again, is that you don't have this big ugly plastic bar along the bottom anymore. It's built into the screen. So you have kind of this borderless screen instead of this, this chunky plastic. So I think that was a really nice upgrade from 2023 to 2024. And it's one of my top recommendations for actually choosing the 2024, it just has more of a premium feel. The track pads are very, very similar. They're the same quiet, dampened click, really nice click on the track pad, um, secured very nicely to the chassis. But the keyboards is where things get quite different. We have this beautiful RGB backlit keyboard with the color coming in through the sides. The colors are nice and muted, so they're not harsh. They don't hurt your eyes. It's one complaint I have with the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14 is the RGB backlighting is so harsh and it's nice and mellow here on the Omen. Though it is still bright in dark lighting conditions and very nice and strong and bold, you can also dim it down. It, it's a very good keyboard. Soft touch keys. They are close together, but the translucence around each key kind of separates them so you can identify them very easily versus more of a traditional gaming laptop keyboard. Separation between the keys, light coming straight through the keys except for the WASD. Still types very well, but just of course feels like a very traditional gaming laptop keyboard. Personally, if I were going to pick a laptop based on the keyboard, I would go for the HP Omen Transcend 14. I just really like it a lot. I think it's a great design. I don't know if or when we're going to get it on the 16-inch model. They might transfer this design over to the 16. They may or may not. Time will tell. All right, so looking at the backlighting on these keyboards, you can see that there is isn't very nice backlighting on the HP Omen 16. But compared to the Transcend 14, I mean, it's just so beautiful. I just love the color. It's simple, but it's bold and it's different. And so both keyboards do have good backlighting. I just think this one stands out so much more. I think it's just really cool. All right, now for the displays. Now, taking a look at the display on the new 2024 HP Omen, you can see we now have a borderless design. This is the 2023 model. You have this big, thick bezel on the bottom. The bezel is still there, it's just not produced in plastic. It's the borderless design. Now you do have a glossy screen on the 2024. You can see it's quite reflective, even though they claim it has an anti-glare coating. Still, compared to the matte finish, it disperses the light much more and makes it less glare oriented. Now let's talk about the displays. The HP Omen Transcend 14 has a refresh rate of 120 hertz. It reaches 487 nits of screen brightness, has a color gamut range of 100% sRGB, 98% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3, all at a Delta E of 0.87. Compared to the HP Omen Transcend 16, we have a refresh rate of 240 hertz, with a normal brightness reaching 392 nits, with 100% sRGB, 97% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3, all at a Delta E of 0.41. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the purchasing options as well as the pricing between these two models. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the live pricing and availability for these laptops. You can see that the HP Omen Transcend 2023 model is available in the i9-13900HX on Amazon with an RTX 4070 at $1,678. Now, you're not going to have the 32 gigs installed when you purchase it. So you'd have to upgrade that if you want 32 gigs of RAM, it comes with 16. But honestly, that's a solid price at $1,678 because the brand new 2024 version is $2,200. And the difference in performance between the 13th gen i9 and the 14th gen i9 is nominal. And actually, when we get into the performance benchmarks, it might actually be better for you to get the 2023 model. So just hang tight. Little spoiler alert there, um, but you can see the price difference is quite substantial between the 24 and the 23. Now, if you go to HP's website, you can only get the i7 version for the 2023 model. So just keep in mind, this Amazon listing is going to be the best price uh, for 2023. Now, if you want to get the 2024 model, configure it just the right way that you want it. Of course, they have all the different configuration options, and you can order it from HP's website directly. Now, looking at the HP Omen Transcend 14, you have both the Ultra 7 and the Ultra 9 version with the 4060 and the 4070. But I will point out, if you want to get a better deal on this laptop, I would go to BestBuy.com because you can get it for $2,000. 
rather than the 2249 on HP's website. But if you want the Intel Core Ultra 7 version, you're actually going to get a better deal by going with HP by $100. So just keep an eye out on the pricing. Make sure you pick the right listing to get the best price for you and the exact configuration that you're looking for. Remember, links are in the description below if you want to check the live pricing or make a purchase. I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Let's continue with the rest of the review. So battery life is one area that is really important to consider between these two. For the HP Omen Transcend 16, you can get seven hours of streaming video playback. Whereas with the HP Omen Transcend 14, you can get almost 11 hours of streaming video playback. And that has a lot to do with the CPU designation. In the HP Omen Transcend 14, we have the Intel Core Ultra 9 185H. That is a very, very efficient CPU. It has ultra low power cores. So it has E cores, P cores, and it's going to have the new LPE cores. So that means that when you're streaming video playback, the system actually drops into the lower power island in order to create a more efficient laptop when you're not doing active tasks. Whereas with the HP Omen Transcend 16, you have an HX series CPU. It's going to be the highest performance that Intel has to offer currently inside of a laptop with the HX designation. So it's gonna be really focused on performance. It's not focused on battery life. So when you look at it, the battery life is still pretty solid at around seven hours of battery life for streaming video playback. But if battery life is something that's very important to you, I would definitely lean into the HP Omen Transcend 14 as it's going to be a more efficient laptop. All right, now there are webcams on the top bezel, and here's a sample of those so you can see what they look like and what they sound like. This is the webcam on the HP Omen 16 2024, and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the HP Omen Transcend 14 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. And for a quick audio sample, here are the speakers in use. And of course, you can hear what the keyboards and trackpads sound like. Here's a sample of those as well. Without further ado, let's jump into the performance. Both of these laptops come with 32 gigs of RAM. The HP Omen Transcend 16 has the i9-14900HX and an RTX 4070, whereas the HP Omen Transcend 14 has the Intel Core Ultra 9 185H and an RTX 4070. Now you'll also see the 4060 version with Intel Core Ultra 7 on the results as well. And you're also gonna see the 2023 model with the i9-13900HX on the listing as well. Maybe you're considering saving a little bit of money on the HP Omen 16, go for last year's model with 13th gen, but that will not be possible for the 14 because this is a brand new model. It's never come out before, it's brand new for 2024. As you can see in the simulated benchmarks, Geekbench single core and multi-core, as well as Cinebench 2024, the HP Omen Transcend 16 looks like the clear winner. And in many respects, it is because it has the more powerful CPU. Now, it looks like the HP Omen Transcend 16 is a clear winner based on the simulated benchmarks. But as we get into the real world benchmarks, we're going to first jump into Photoshop. You can see that they're closer than it might appear for some of the benchmark tests. Specifically in Photoshop, you can see that the HP Omen Transcend 14 scores a 6,888 versus the HP Omen Transcend 16 scoring a 6,898. But the 13th gen 2023 model HP Omen scores a 7,516. So maybe more advantageous if you're a Photoshop user and interested in the HP Omen 16 to get 
the 13th gen 2023 model. Just a little uh, side note there for you. Now, as we move down the line to 3D modeling, that is where you're going to get a big advantage by choosing the HP Omen Transcend 16. The laptop is a bit thicker, has a little bit more ventilation throughout, has more higher thermal limit. And so not only do we have more powerful CPU, but we also have higher limits on the thermals where the HP Omen Transcend 14 is a thinner laptop. It's more like an ultrabook size. And so it's not gonna be able to vent and cool as well. So it's gonna use thermal throttling in order to cool the laptop. So you're gonna have more performance ceiling out of the HP Omen Transcend 16. And we can see that here. You can see that the HP Omen Transcend 16 scores a 234 inside of Autodesk 3ds Max, where the 14 scores a 202. So about a 30 point difference. However, if you look at the 2020 three model, you can see it's a 245. It's about a 10 point increase. Not gonna be a huge difference there between those two, um, but definitely gonna see a performance increase between if you're going to compare the 23, 16 to the 24 HP on Transcend 14. Sorry if we're getting a little confusing. I'm trying to keep it as clear as possible on what the advantages are of each of the laptops. Next up, we have Autodesk Maya. And you can see that the Transcend 16 is a 335 versus the HP Omen at a 274. So definitely a strong advantage there by going to the 16. However, as you look up the charts, you can see that the 2023 model scores a 372. So again, 2023 is the winner. I'm not sure what happened with the configuration between 23 and 24, but 23 has impressed me. Um, I think it's very odd. Now, moving on to PTC Creo, we see the same story again. 23 models at the top, 16 from 2024 is in the middle, and then the HP Omen Transcend 14 falls down the charts a little bit. Now, last up in SolidWorks, we see the same thing on the charts. Now, moving on to video editing. Let's go ahead and check out the 4K export. We take a nine minute 4K clip, put it into Premiere Pro and export out at full quality 4K settings. We have a two minute and 11 second export time out of the 2024 HP Omen Transcend 16. Fantastic export time. Followed up by the 2023 model at 216 and then followed up by the HP Omen Transcend at 231. So honestly, those are really close. Export times for 4K is not gonna make a huge difference. Now looking at 6K, this is where we start to see a bit of a difference. 2023 model, 16 minutes and 41 seconds. 2024 model, 16 minutes and 42 seconds. And then the HP Omen Transcend 14 is 19 minutes and 20 four seconds. So if you're going to be a 6K video editor, I would go for the HP Omen Transcend 16. That would be my choice. Now looking at drop frames, it's going to tell us a similar story. For the Transcend 16, we're going to have 24 drop frames for B-RAW and 589 drop frames for RED footage. And then for the HP Omen Transcend 14, we're going to have 85 drop frames for B-RAW and 1,936 for red footage. So if you're looking for 6K video editing, you can definitely do it on the HP Omen Transcend 14, but it's gonna be a bit smoother on the HP Omen Transcend 16. Not by a ton, but definitely the winner. To conclude the video and help you with your buying decision, if you're looking for a thin and light on the go laptop that has the ability to do high performance tasks, I would go for the HP Omen Transcend 14 because it's going to give you good battery life. It's going to give you portability. It's going to give you one of the most fantastic keyboards that has ever hit the laptop market. I love this keyboard. And then it's also going to give you that punch and GPU performance you need to get away with using apps that provide you the ability to do 3D modeling, motion design, video editing, even in 6K. It just is a very flexible laptop. But if you need a workhorse, if you need a very powerful laptop to do 3D modeling at the best, to do 6K video editing very smoothly, then the HP Omen Transcend 16 is where you're going to want to put your money. You're going to forfeit the awesome keyboard and you know more portability, but because the HP Omen 16 has gotten thinner and thinner over the years, it's still a nice portable chassis. It's just not as compact. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.